I'm back at you. Day 63, I believe. The 50 ton Chris Craft. See no saga. We can see it all right up behind me there up on shore. Monday morning, not much going on. Waiting for the mediation on Thursday. And I hear it's a Zoom mediation. Whatever, you know. I got to say that's not the best. I, I you know, you think in-person mediation would be better. Always easier to sell yourself in person. But that's Thursday. What I want to kind of talk about today is, as the title says, why aren't they just letting them tow this doggone thing out of here? Okay, now they've both been tagged. Each of them. Spin it around here. Both the trucks got an orange tag on the front and the trailers got an orange tag. They've both officially been declared unserviceable by the Minnesota State Highway Patrol. So that begs a question. They're unserviceable. Isn't that what tow trucks are for? That's what I thought. Now, they got a couple of them tow truck TV shows like Highway Through Hell, Hell on the Highway, whatever. The one else out in Donner's Pass is great. Because they got trucks like this that end up in the ditch all the time. Their lo loads are tipped over. The trailers are smashed. They get two or three tow trucks there. They yank them up out. And then they hook them up and they drag them off. The cops don't come and give them a ticket every day. The county doesn't come and put barriers around the tipped over trailer in the ditch. They hook those things up and get them the heck out of there. They don't ask, do you have a legal place for this thing to go? They don't ask, did you have permission to drive on the highway? They don't ask anything like that. The cops show up, they, they make sure everybody's safe, there's no drunk driving, any, anything like that. And then they let the tow truck drivers do their work and get the junk out of there. Get it back to the shop, get it back to where it's going. Just get it off the highway, get it out of the ditch. They don't sue them in court after preventing them from moving it. Sue them in court to move it after preventing them from moving it. It's just crazy because, you know, I've read all the documents. I attended the hearing. I think I got a pretty good handle of what's going on. And given Minnesota statute, from what I've seen, 100% legal to hook these things up to a tow truck, tow them down the road. There might be a little bit of an issue with an oversize on the boat. Yeah, you got to deal with that, so they might want to do it at a certain time of day. But one thing they don't do, out on the highway, in Donner's Pass and these others, they say, hey, you're going to wait till the middle of the night, you're going to get a permit, you're going to comply, and not only that, we're going to give you a bunch of tickets. No. No. I think, Turbine Guy thinks, they should just let them tow the doggone things out of here. Where it's going? None of their business. None of their business. If it's going on private property, what the heck does the county care? The county's got nothing to do with it. You got tow trucks that are capable of towing these things, which I'm sure they do. Hook them up. Get them out of here. Don't block them in and give them tickets after tickets after Don't do any of that. There we go, reconnected. Sorry about that. But, key is right now, just get this thing home. Quit making, you know, every, people's lives miserable. Some people don't want to see it anymore. Some people want to help. All kinds of different things. But you know what? For some reason, the county thinks the best thing to do is to hold him accountable, and I'm not sure for what. I'm not sure at all. Turbine guy says, let them tow the doggone thing out of here. They got trucks that can do it. Let's end the C-Note saga once and for all, and let's move on. Turbine Guy, signing off.